Many of your favorite YouTubers, Instagrammers, Twitch streamers could all end up in jail if we do nothing uh, in the next two days. What's up guys, I'm Aaron Palos. A longtime viewers of my channel will know that anytime we don't open up a video with a funny clip from somewhere on the internet, a background song, our normal intro, it generally means we have something pretty serious to talk about. Today is another one of those days. In a nutshell, and I do apologize if I come off a little bit heated here, the geniuses in Congress, specifically Tom Tillis, who we're gonna talk about at length today, in their infinite wisdom, have decided that if you accidentally uh, use any copyrighted material in a video on Twitch, on Instagram, wherever it happens to be, that will now be considered a felony. You'll face possible jail time and a channel crippling fine. So what exactly constitutes copyrighted material? Well, it turns out it can be any number of things. It can be a song, a sound effect, a video clip. All of them would now carry felony status and possible jail time with literally no leniency uh, with regards to your intent. So why is this happening now? How is it happening? Well, it turns out that Senator Tom Tillis decided to, uh, well, push for prison time for anyone using copyrighted material, even accidentally. And guess why he's doing that? I bet you can probably figure this out. Apparently, Tom Tillis has received over $100,000 from the music and entertainment industry. What a beautiful joy it is to be a bought and paid for politician trying to absolutely destroy the lives of uh, online entertainers. And if you thought to yourself, well, this couldn't possibly get any worse, well, you'd be wrong. This insane proposed law is actually being slipped in with the omnibus bill that has to be passed in the next two days to avert a government shutdown. Dick Sarato actually did an entire article about this a couple days ago to try to raise the alarm for people in the in the YouTube and Twitch spaces and beyond uh, because almost no one knew this was happening. The article says Twitch streamers may face jail time when they're hit with multiple DMCA strikes on the Amazon-owned streaming platform if a proposal from Senator Tom Tillis is successfully squeezed into Congress's 11th hour omnibus bill. Congress often finds itself in situations where they must hustle through massive omnibus bills in an effort to prevent a government shutdown. Senators use these must-pass bills to slip their controversial deals in knowing they'll have to be green lit and it gets so much worse guys and this is what i was talking about where it could affect everyone this time around senator tillis is using the chance to take aim at copyrighted material being broadcast on twitch and shared in youtube and instagram videos many of you guys who have watched my channel over the last week know that i was just considering starting a video gaming channel because uh, it's one of my big passions and one of the first games i was going to stream was cyberpunk 2077 so let's say you decide to start your own video game channel you pop in cyberpunk you're getting ready to play you're listening to in-game music, you're streaming to your adoring fans, boom, there actually exists copyrighted music uh, shown within the Cyberpunk 2077 game. And there even happens to be an option within Cyberpunk where you can turn off copyrighted music, but alas, that actually doesn't get you out of hot water either. There might essentially exist other copyrighted music within the game that could land you a felony and jail time if you stream it in any way. And that's just one of the many things that could possibly happen. I I've literally had videos where we showed one of our, you know, famous in intro clips and there was a song playing in the background that basically demonetized my entire video and could have got me a DMCA strike. The music and entertainment industry are some of the most blood-sucking, life-altering entities that exist on the planet right now and have literally paid Tom Tillis $100,000 to try to push this through at the final hour in Congress. We are absolutely going to need your guys' help on this one. Uh, get on Instagram, get on Twitter, wherever you possibly can. And apparently right now, uh, the hashtag that is trending is Stop DMCA. Uh, if we don't do something about this, guys, your favorite YouTubers, Twitch streamers, everybody could literally go to jail and you, and you might say to yourself well the government would never do that we would never face felony times it's literally happening right now for whatever reason guys the automotive YouTube community seems relatively uh, encapsulated in their own bubble rarely getting involved in sort of bigger YouTube and sort of social media issues as a whole I know we 
normally do automotive news here, guys, but this is something that affects pretty much every major social media creator out there uh, with really no exception. So obviously, guys, I felt the need to talk about it in today's video. Uh, this is literally something that Congress is trying to rush through without knowing what the heck is inside the bill in the next two days. Another article from gamesindustry.biz essentially says the same stuff, but also expands on sort of why this moronic Senator Tom Tillis is conflating a couple of different issues here incorrectly. Uh, proposed law in the US could see the streaming of copyrighted material become a felony offense, potentially leading to a prison sentence, uh, saying that the proposal essentially draws a parallel between the rise of streaming and the rise of piracy. Uh, this is a major issue here, guys. Uh, I see what they're trying to go for, uh, but the way they're going about it is going to unintentionally cause massive amounts of issues for pretty much every online creator as a whole. It continues on saying it argues that the illegal streaming is an offense against the right of public performance and wants the same level of felony penalties to be applied to such a violation compared to reproduction and distribution violations. And if you were curious about how much and sort of uh, how severe these penalties can be, it continues saying felony penalties for copyright infringement can include up to five years in prison and up to $250,000 in fines in the most extreme cases, though are rarely applied. One of the most frustrating things is if you take a look, guys, Tom Tillis, the senator, actually sent a letter uh, to the director of the United States Copyright Office asking very specific questions about whether or not this would actually deter illicit streaming of copyrighted material. Saying later, do you believe the increasing uh, the criminal penalty for the unauthorized streaming of copyrighted material from a misdemeanor to a felony would better deter illicit streaming? If yes, what specific statutory charges would you recommend? The level of idiocy here is almost unparalleled, and that's really saying something for Congress considering all the, the random garbage they usually try to shove through through crazy bills like this. And just so you guys understand, uh, we really can achieve results here if we band together. Uh, very similar issues with SOPA, PIPA, versions of COPPA. Uh, a lot of these have been pushed back by people watching videos like this, taking to Instagram and Twitter and you know shooting out a hashtag uh, that has importance can stop things like this in their tracks. But we really don't have a lot of time here. As we've talked about, we only have two days to get this thing done. I can count the number of times on one hand where we've uh, strayed into sort of big public discourse issues like we are today. That's how passionate I feel about what we've been discussing throughout this video. As we close down today's episode, a monster thanks, first of all, to Critical for sort of doing an entire video on this. That's where we sort of got the idea to also sort of tag along with that, uh, sort of doing great research on that. Also. Xerto, who did an entire sort of expose on the original piece. It was heavily referenced uh, in Critical's video as well. And that's it, guys. It's sort of up to us now. If we don't do anything, this thing is going to pass through Congress and we're all going to be screwed as creators. Call your Congress people. Get Stop DMCA trending. Uh, this is a big deal, guys. One of the biggest deals that we have ever had to deal with in YouTube as a whole. And we have to do something about it. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Hopefully we are all still here in a couple days. That's all I got. I'm out.